So let me discuss uh, in this class uh, about a program called as Fibonacci sequence. In this pro uh, class, let me first uh, we will talk about the using the non-recursion Fibonacci sequence using the non-recursion program. We'll be let you see later. We'll talk about uh, the recursion program. Okay. So first of all, we'll go for this program. So this is a program, right? So the Fibonacci sequence, and we had to write a Java program uh, for yeah. This is the logic. This is the uh, program A. We'll keep it in the comments uh, for your better understanding. The sequence, uh, the Fibonacci sequence, is going to be uh, defined by following ways. Uh, the first value, the first two values in the sequence are zero and one, and every subsequent value in the sum is two values. That is proceedings of that. Every subsequent value means every next value is the sum of the two values preceding. Two values preceding means what? The two values of the previous two values. So to find out the next value. We had to take the precedence of the sum of the precedence, sum of the previous two values, so that the next value will become the next sequence of the Fibonacci. Right. So initially the two values are zero and one. Let me understand with one example. Later we we'll go for the procedure. Later we we'll go for the program. The example here is, for example, if you want to perform, a, if you want to find out a Fibonacci sequence of a particular number, say the number is maybe the Fibonacci sequence number, maybe say for example. It is for four, Fibonacci sequence four. Now, initially, what we are saying, it is saying initially, say zero one is the default values. What they are saying, the subsequent number, if you want the next subsequent number, means the sum of the two values of the preceding. The sum of the two values means preceding numbers. That is, preceding numbers are zero plus one. That is equal to one here. To find out the next subsequent, the previous two numbers, sum of the previous numbers. What are the previous two numbers? One plus one is the two uh, previous numbers here. One plus one. Now. If you are going to performing this one, it will give two. So the total fourth subsequence, fourth uh, uh, Fibonacci sequence, fourth value. What they are saying in the program to print the nth value of the Fibonacci sequence. Nth value means, say for example, fourth value of the Fibonacci sequence means fourth value of Fibonacci sequence is the total it gives zero, one, one, two. This is the fourth sequence of the value. Fourth, the value of the Fibonacci sequence. Fourth value of the fourth value of the Fibonacci sequence is two, so it will give the sequence as zero, one, one, two. Now, if the question is what is the nth means, what is the fourth Fibonacci sequence value means, you have to say two. What is the sequence means? Zero, one, one, two. I repeat, what is the fourth value of the Fibonacci means? Is it two? If they are asking Fibonacci sequence, what is the fourth value of the Fibonacci sequence means? Fourth value of the Fibonacci sequence zero one one two. It had uh, said that the sequence means zero one one two for fourth value of the Fibonacci. If, if you want the fourth value means it is a two. Now, if you want to consider, say for example, you have consider the another for five. For example, if you consider for five value. Now, what is the for five? Zero one one two. The previous two value addition that is three. Similarly, if you are considering for similarly, if you are considering for the five. Uh, sorry, six. What will comes? Zero, one, one, two, three, and five. Like this, the sequence will be coming. Now, how the sequence it is going to be coming over here in the in this pattern? This is n one. Already we had a slice. Okay. Now this is n two. This is already in slice. Now say for example, this is n three. So what is n three? N one plus n. This is n three. Now if you want this one, if you want this two number. If you want to this two number, what actually we are expecting? If you want to this two number, how it becomes the two number? It has added the one plus one. It becomes two value. Now, how the value of n three becomes one here? It is added the last two numbers. That is one and another is zero. It is added. That is zero plus one. If it is added, it becomes as one here. What is n one zero? What is n two one? That is becomes one. Now to get this two, what we had to add it? We had to add this and this. So where actually this uh, one value in n three. So n two we had to assign as three, and where it is one in n two. So n two value has to assign to n. So n one becomes before going to that step, n one becomes n one becomes what? It has to becomes n two as well as n two becomes n three. Then n three becomes n one plus n two. So this three process. This three process, three lines, 
it has to be repeated for the given n number what is the given n number say for example given n values given when uh, nth value nth value of the sequence n values given n values what it is 4 44 it is a for 5 the same process so this process is three steps now once you are going to be uh, making assign n3 equal to n1 plus n2 immediately we have to be print this n3 we have to print n3 n3 had to print it because to know the output now before you are going to perform here n1 becomes n2 n2 becomes n3 and n3 becomes n1 plus n2 so again we have to print so this process whatever this process here this process entirely it is going to be doing this process entirely so you see here this process has to repeat for up to the n value reaches up to the n value up to the n value so initially n value is become for 1, it is 2, 3 and 4. For the 4th it is when it is come, it has to stop the process. So initially from where it has stop, start, from n minus 2 to up to the value n becomes 0 or up to it reaches to the particular value. So this is how the example stops. About. So what is m fibrinose sequence means for a given number, initially the two values becomes the 0 and 1. To know the subsequent number, subsequent value means the next number, we had to be add the previous two numbers. We had to be add, we are, had to sum the precedings of that. Precedings of it means what? Previous two values to get the subsequent value. That is the logic. Okay. Now let me talk about uh, the actual uh, the processor. So what we need to do first. Here we go. So what is the first step? We had to declare. Uh, what are the things we required? To repeat the loop, we required uh, n. To read the n value, we required n, and to assign n1 equal to 0, two values are required, right? n2 becomes 1, and to get the third value, n3 value, we required n3. This is initially we required. Next, what is the next step? We had to read the nth value. We had to read the n value. Read n value. Right? Next, third one. Once you read the n value, we had to already assign n1 equal to 0, n3 equal to 1. Just if you want, you can display print n1 n2 just print it first of all now next value for this we have to repeat repeat what we have to repeat we have to repeat repeat from from where we have to repeat from n minus 2 because already two values are assigned n1 n2 already assigned repeat from n minus 2 to the n minus 2 to up to from n minus 2 to up up to n becomes 0 n becomes 0 or else if you are taking the loop if you are taking the loop over here if you are considering the loop over here loop uh, i value if you uh, making from repeat from n minus 2 to up to i becomes yeah i becomes up to it becomes n n, n, n values n value after it becomes n it has to repeat the process if you are considering a loop you have to be take up to i if you are taking the n value if you are decrementing then you can take as this when you are taking simply we can say when you are taking the for loop you can take this for for loop when you are considering as a while loop you can consider this which one this one for while loop for, uh, for loop, this is you have to consider from n minus 2 to up to i. That is n minus 2 to up to the i becomes n when you are taking for loop. When you are taking while loop, from up to n becomes because in while of uh, n, uh, n less than or equal to 0, up to that we are going to be reducing. Up to the n greater than or equal to 0, we are going to be reducing the n value. Next, uh, what we have to repeat this 4.1, we have to repeat what we have to repeat it for here. First, you are going to be n1. As n3 equal to, we have to sum it right first of all, n3 equal to n1 plus n2. Next, 4.2, next step, n1 becomes, you can want to, can, you can print it here immediately, print n3. Next, 4.3, n1 becomes n2. 4.4, n2 becomes n3. Okay, so this process, again, what we have to make, with this process will be repeated until the end of the program. 
So uh, last end of the program. This is what we are going to be doing in this in the loop rational. So this is the non-recursion. Here there is no recursion. We are not taking any method. Directly we are considering as a non-recursion over here. Clear? Right? So let me see the logic. So already I have uh, the logic over this for this program in the same fashion because of time permits. I'll just show the logic uh, program for you. So what you're doing is I'm taking a class called as script non-recursion here the program non-recursion and taking the main method and followed by the we are going to have a set right the logic we have set it the logic here we have to declare i n n1 n2 n3 thus we are declaring uh, n i n1 n2 n3 here right so for reading the inputs this is the normal three steps you know uh, just uh, create an object for scanner uh, from the input system dot in input from the keyboard we are reading and display enter asking for a value and read it. So it is an integer value. So that's why we are going to use the method called as next int here. Next int here, over here. So these three steps for reading the input at the runtime. Only one input we can read it. Now, again here, uh, what happened is you forgot about this one for a meanwhile. Uh, we'll discuss about this. Now, see here, uh, next step is what? We are taking a loop here. Repeat, print n1, n2. So print n1, n2, we can print here itself. System dot out dot interland. What we had to print n one. Just use some space. Uh, okay. Fine. So just reading the input. After that, print. What is the next step? Print n one n two. We have printed here. Next is for repeat from n minus two to up to the i becomes n. When you are using for loop. So for i equal to 2, from i equal to not 0, it is from i equal to 2, it is going to be starting, it is going to be taking the values, is going to be taking over here, from i equal to 2 up to i less than n, it is going to be taking of this, and i plus plus. Now what the next step, the 4.1, we have to n3 equal to n1 plus n2, n3 equal to n plus n2. Just print this one, print to the, print n3 equal to n1 plus n2, print n3, print n3 n1 becomes n2, n1 equal to n2, n2 equal to n3. So this process will be repeated. Now let me see that the program. So already uh, I've just opened the command prompt. You go for the program where it is available in that folder. Go to the command prompt, cmd. Now what is the name of the program? Java C, uh, FIP. FIP, non recur FIP, non Record dot show. If you have errors, it will be uh, show that if no errors, go for execute the program. It's asking for n value. So I'm just giving the n value as 4, for example. What is n value for 4 is here? Uh, what happened? Where it is? Where it is actually? Okay, why it is two times it is printing? Uh, maybe in the brain. Here itself, right? We have saved this program. Yeah, we have saved it. Zero one, zero one, right? Twice. Print n one, n two. Main. Okay. So. Okay, fine. We are compiled. We are running. We are asking for zero one. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. We are uh, taken as here. So, if you give ln here, it will go for the next line. Now it is okay. Just uh, it is compile. Give the enter of four value zero one one two. So if you are giving ln print ln, it goes to the zero one next line one two like this. It is come. So if I am giving say for example, I am giving five. It is a zero one one two three. Just clear the screen. If I give value 2, what is the output? 0. If I give the value as 1, if I give the value as 1, again it is giving 0, 1. Now, if I give the value as 0, what is giving? 0, 1. If I give the value as minus 1, what is giving? 
zero because why it is giving because here we are not testing directly we are by default it is displaying we are not bothering about the given n value what's the n value is becomes so for that one it is automatically display this one so for this purpose what we can make make sure here we can check the condition if so and so that's what we have written it right so if n equal to n greater than or equal to 2 only if n, 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 equal, n greater than 2 only can display this one else ask that enter value more than more than 2 you can ask that enter the value more than 2 over here more than two. now see uh, save the program compile it now run the program now i am giving 4 here uh, wait i need to keep uh, keep this this is not it Here the screen. I'm running the program. I'm giving four zero one. Good. Next five zero one two. Next two zero one. Good. One enter value more than two. Zero enter value more than two. Minus one enter the value more than like this. We are just performing checking the condition. That's all. Okay. But the rest is same. So this is about how we are going to be performing a Fibonacci sequence with non-recursion 